I don't know, a couple of years ago, and every Sunday we heard about Alpha, and I, I'd never heard that it was something that would appeal to me. There was not anything about the way it was described that would say to me, hey, you know, I've got time on a, on a random day or after church on Sunday, let's go hang out at Alpha. It sounded a little bit like a brush-up course, um, or uh, maybe I, I needed a, a little fine-tuning or something, and it just it didn't appeal to me at all. I hope someone's going, but it's not going to be me. Just not. Before I'd gone to Alpha, my wife and I are faithful parishioners. We come to church every Sunday. Our children went to St. John's. My boys are older now. They went to uh, Bishop Brady and are now in college. My daughter's about to go to Bishop Brady next year. We're, we're connected with the parish in, in that way. And uh, sort of lifelong Catholics, you know, you go to church on Sunday. Occasionally you do one of the other things. And that's sort of what it's all about. I didn't feel like I needed um, any kind of brushing up. Uh, I was lucky enough to attend a, a Jesuit college. Um, theology was a required class. It just, it, it, it never connected with me that that would be something that I would want to do or needed to do. <laughs> I got a letter in the mail saying that someone had, had nominated me to sit on the pastoral council. And I attended the, the day of discernment and was elected to the council. Uh, Father Rich, almost as a passing remark, said, you know, now that you're on the pastoral council, I'd really prefer that everyone go to Alpha. So I showed up. The first session was sort of a hard one. You know, they, they asked why we were there. And, and, and I remember the question was phrased, and don't say because your wife sent you. And when it came around to me, it was like, well, I'm here because Father Rich made me come. <laughs> but I, I figured I'd give it a shot and, and I'd be open-minded. And I have to say, I absolutely loved it. It was something I didn't think that I needed and something that I was, in fact, apparently craving. It was so nice to speak to people about our faith in a straightforward way and in a very intimate way, and not feel like uh, odd about it. It was also wonderful that it wasn't, you didn't feel like you were Bible thumping. It wasn't a, it wasn't a, a revival or, you know, singing Kumbaya or anything. People just opened up about what their faith meant to them. The, the videos would sort of trigger different conversations. And with this small group of people at your table, you were able to really experience our faith in a completely refreshing way. I felt when I was done, like my faith was all sort of shiny and new again. Uh, and it, it, I recommend it to anybody, anybody who just wants to sort of relight that flame. It was a wonderful experience. I feel very much connected to the parish. It's nice now to come in, not that I didn't know anybody before, but I know new people now, and, and they address me by name when you walk into the church, because we have this thing that we shared, you know, that we went through together. People that I wouldn't otherwise have connected with, they're not neighbors, they're not co business colleagues, they're not people that I would have run into in the, normal, in the normal way. And we know that underneath that, we shared this experience, this very private but intimate experience about, about why we come to church to begin with. Give it a shot. It's, uh, look, it, there's, it's no obligation. You don't have to come back if it doesn't trip your trigger, but it was really, really a wonderful experience.